stress that um, I think consistency on this issue is important. And uh, I have been pro-choice my whole career. Uh, I think that's a, a very valid uh, way that voters should judge candidates um, and, and a way that you can have faith in, in whether or not I'm good by my word. And I learned a long time ago, back in 1981, you can't be on both sides of this issue. Uh, and if you try to please both sides, you're in deep trouble. So I stand with the women of Pennsylvania and will protect your rights. Okay. The next question comes from Jar John Meyerson from USCW Local 1776. Thank you, Eileen, and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I was actually hoping that there would be a Republican or two here. I'm afraid that this question might be too easy for you. <laughs> so I'll try to throw a, 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 little, a little something on it. Um, considering the economic condition of uh, the state of Pennsylvania, and considering that the Pennsylvania wine and spirit shops um, provide about uh, half a billion dollars in contributions through profits and taxes to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, at the same time providing jobs, good union families, sustaining jobs with benefits to about 3,000 Pennsylvanians. And uh, those men and women um, card underage drinkers, about a million of them a, a year. Um, do you support the, con the continuation of the uh, Pennsylvania liquor store system? And if the answer is yes, what are your ideas to improve it so that we can continue in our mission of serving the people of Pennsylvania, protecting their communities, and raising needed revenues. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? <laughs> Mr. Yeah. First, I, I do, uh, I do uh, support continuing uh, the current system, and I do support uh, being creative with the great uh, workforce that we have and allowing the, uh, the uh, wine and spirits stores to be uh, competitive. And we talked before, there's examples where there's no reason why we can't have our, our state store system and our system in and next to uh, the uh, grocery stores in the state. Uh, there's a way that we can make this work. Uh, this actually raises money for the state. Uh, it's a, a regulated industry. Uh, it is an uh, industry that provides good paying jobs. Uh, it is something that does not drain uh, the treasury of the state. Uh, I do not have a problem with this industry being regulated. I think there's a lot of benefits to it. I think that uh, there's also a lot of ways that if we let the great workers of this state and the leadership of this industry be creative, come up with ideas, and allow them to show how they can be competitive, I know they can do it. I've seen some of it happen already, and we've done it within the framework of what exists today. So I want to make it very clear uh, to you specifically, and to everyone in this room, everyone listening, that I would support it, and I would help make the current system prosper going forward. Thank you. Mr. Wagner? Uh, John, as you know, I've been in the trenches uh, on this issue. Uh, going back to the days when I was a state senator and I was a minority chair of that committee. And I've worked with you and I've worked with others for a long time on this issue. Uh, not only to retain the existing system, but to expand the system. Uh, to expand the system so it has longer hours, that it's open on Sundays, that there is wine selection that, uh, where there has never been before, that we have uh, more user-friendly stores, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I am a strong advocate of further expansion of existing uh, wine and liquor stores in Pennsylvania. They provide quality jobs, family-sustaining jobs for Pennsylvanians. And if it was privatized, you know, I know, everyone in this room knows what would happen. You would have minimum wage jobs for all those people. Uh, liquor would be made more available. Uh, more children under 21 would be able to get it. We would have more problems. Uh, Pennsylvania has done it right, but it must still move forward in terms of competition and expansion. Uh, I fully support uh, the direction where we have been going for the last 10 years and moving even further in a more progressive way. Uh, 